In this tutorial, I will show you methods that will work as well on location as in the studio. On location, it is vital to be able to check your 3D media files for both content and technical considerations. This can literally save your production. I have set up a project with a variety of sources. They include media files from the Panasonic AG3D-A1, Panasonic AG3D-P1, Panasonic HDC Z10000, Sony TD10, GoPro Hero 3, the Atomos Ninja, and the Atomos Samurai. In case you're curious, the Atomos Ninja and Atomos Samurai are not usually thought of as 3D tools. But with a little outside the box thinking, I'm going to show you how to accomplish a significant upgrade to your quality without breaking your budget. The Panasonic AG3D-A1 has HD SDI outputs, which can take the output and input it into the Atomos Samurai. The HD SDI bypasses the internal recorder and gives you up to a 220 megabit per second 10 bit 422 3D media file in your Samurai. The Atomos Ninja 2 connected to the HDMI out from the Panasonic HTC Z10000 gives you a side-by-side -side 3D file at the same bitrate. While these cameras are much easier to use than expensive beam splitter 3D rigs, they nonetheless need to have their 3D adjusted just the same. I have set up a timeline with each of the file types so I can show you how to make those adjustments. I edit with basic 3D adjustments completed. In this way, I can be sure that the images will work together in the final output. This is the first sequence. I'm using shots from the Panasonic HDC Z10000. As you can see, there are a lot of clips. The basic procedure is to apply the stereoscopic adjuster to each clip. Then, open the stereoscopic adjuster. There are quite a few adjustments that can be made to both the left and right channels together or individually. The basic settings that we need performed at this point is to check off the auto trimming box and click the rectify button. This executes a basic adjustment to the clip. Let's take a look at what was affected. We see slight adjustments made to the vertical alignment, keystone, and zoom. At this stage, we will leave the horizontal adjustment alone. The horizontal adjustment governs the amount or volume of positive and negative parallax and the position of the screen plane. This adjustment needs to happen after the edit is complete to make sure that the clips to either side are similar. This avoids discomfort due to depth jumps. There are also some other creative choices in how you want the overall 3D project to look. These looks can be compared to applying a look in color grading. So with all these clips, how do you get this accomplished without spending hours or paying an assistant editor to do the job? Simple. There is a program that I treasure almost as much as EDIUS 7. That program is EDIUS Macro Generator, or EMG. I open the program and go to my stereoscopic mode macros. Then highlight the first clip and click stereoscopic adjuster. What happens next is without me touching my mouse or keyboard, EMG adds the stereoscopic adjuster filter to the clip, opens it, clicks both auto trimming and rectify before clicking OK. Pretty cool. But as those commercials say, but wait, there's more. I'm going to open up this window to get a better view. We can see from the info in the bin window that there are 137 clips that need to be adjusted in this sequence alone. Let's go here to the system button, then click the cycle button. Put that number here. Then just click start and go get a coffee. The program executes the commands and goes to the next clip until all are completed. Remember I mentioned that I used the Atomos Ninja to record side-by-side -side high bitrate clips. Those clips need to have their stereo properties adjusted so that we can use them in EDIUS. The way to do that 
is to right click on the clip, open up the clip properties, go to the stereoscopic tab. We want to tell it that it's a stereoscopic clip and then we have a choice of different stereo formats. We choose side by side and then go down below and click OK. Well, EMG has a macro for that as well. Let's go to the Ninja Timeline and click on Stereo Properties side by side. Again, without you having to do anything except click the button, EMG executes your commands and prepares your clips. The next step, of course, would be to apply the stereoscopic adjuster to all these clips as well. So there you have it. You now know two ways to adjust and get your 3D clips ready for your edit. In the next tutorial, we'll go over applying transitions and other filters, keyframes, as well as basic color correction. Thanks for watching. See you next time.